The German Protestant Church has begun promoting vitamin-rich nutrition for the developing world. Under the banner of its charity program Bread for the World, it is promoting gardening projects in the developing world with a focus on vitamin-rich plants. Why is this important? Because for the first time in about half a century, one of the most influential churches in the world is talking about the importance of providing vitamin-rich nutrition to fight global diseases. While this church has been campaigning to fight hunger in the past, it had never before promoted vitamin-rich nutrition with the aim to prevent diseases. And one of the reasons why the promotion of vitamins for disease prevention was excluded from the charity programs of the German churches was their closeness to one of the leading export industries of this nation, the pharmaceutical drug industry. In the past, the German churches have often functioned as an international marketing division for opening continent-wide markets for pharmaceutical drug exports to the developing world. A case in point was the million dollar support of Bread for the World for pushing toxic antiretroviral drugs across South Africa and from there to the African continent. These unethical activities are documented in the online book End AIDS Stop Pharmaceutical Colonialism. In light of this history, we truly applaud the apparent turnaround of this church and its promotion of vitamin-rich nutrition. Spreading knowledge about the vitamin content and related health benefits of fruits and produce is the basis of optimum health in the industrialized and developing world. Studying community and school gardens and cultivating vitamin-rich plants allows even communities in remote areas of the world to increase the health of their people. Twelve years ago, the Dr. Rath Foundation was involved in setting up community gardening programs in South Africa, an initiative that led to the decision of the South African government to support community gardening projects nationwide. In a recent speech in Valletta, Italy, I pointed out that promotion of community gardens with a focus on vitamin-rich nutrition is the only way to fight hunger and disease at the same time and to finally realize mankind's dream of health for all, that is, providing effective and sustainable health for all people of the world. Recent scientific research has confirmed that micronutrient deficiencies, particularly of vitamin C, are the primary cause of cardiovascular disease. Chronic deficiencies in vitamin-rich nutrition leads to weakening of the artery walls, similar to the sailor's disease scurvy in earlier centuries. With cardiovascular disease being one of the fastest growing diseases in the developing world, this knowledge must be spread with great priority today. Towards this end, we launched the global campaign and heart disease planned a fruit tree earlier this year. In light of this fact, the efforts of Bread for the World should be picked up and supported by other large churches and international organizations, as well as by communities the world over. In fact, other large international institutions, including UN organizations such as UNICEF, are also now following our lead on promoting vitamin-rich nutrition. Some skepticism about the profoundness of these sudden efforts is justified. So if you, the person watching this message anywhere in the world now, want to make sure that we will realize this great goal of health for all together, we invite you to join our Movement of Life campaign. Write to us. Get active wherever you live. And tell us about it. The synergy of local initiatives from all over the globe will bring these changes we need to create 
a healthy world for ourselves and generations to come.